How's Melania doing with that? She's fine, but I think it's very hard for her. I mean, she's fine. But it's, you know, she has to read all this crap. It's stuff that shouldn't even be put in the trial. The judge should have never allowed it to be in the trial. Yeah. And she has to read all this stuff? Poor Melania. It was so unfair that she had to sit there and listen to detailed accounts of Trump's own behavior. She was definitely at the forefront of his mind throughout that entire case. It was keeping him up at night. She was having to listen to things about him that would have hurt her. That is just the selfless, caring Trump we all know, right? Of course not. He is notoriously selfish. He only cares about himself. He's a total narcissist. But it is funny to see how he used his family to shield him throughout this process. Take a look. Wishing my wife, Melania, very happy birthday. Be nice to be with her, but I'm at a courthouse for a rig trial. It's a rig trial. Terrible. But we're doing very well in this rig trial. Everybody knows it. Yesterday was a big day. But I do have to begin by wishing Melania happy birthday. She's in Florida. I'll be going there this evening after this case finishes up. This horrible unconstitutional case. Oh, I would really love to celebrate my wife's birthday, but I have to be in this courtroom. It's weird manipulative behavior that we've unfortunately all seen in people. Oh, I wish I could be there, but you're making me do this. No, you're making yourself do this through your own actions. And there are plenty more birthdays he could miss with all of the other cases that are still ongoing. But on Melania's feelings, I'm really curious. Is there any part of you that feels bad for her? Leave a comment below. Here's the thing. I understand the arguments that, oh, she's in this marriage still, so therefore she supports him. But think about who he is and what he would do if she filed for divorce. What a nightmare that would be. A long, drawn out, arduous process designed to make her life hell so she doesn't take any of his money. That's how rich people operate when they get divorced. There is a tiny part of me that is sympathetic to her because it might just be easier for her and Baron to just deal with it. It's miserable, but the alternative might be worse because there are some perks of living in that marriage, like a luxurious lifestyle. But seriously, if I'm wrong and if you totally disagree, agree, leave a comment below and tell me why. Just don't be too harsh. But to that point, take a look at this when they were leaving the courthouse. I think this is a good depiction of this growing distance that we're seeing between them. We saw it near the tail end of his time in office, and it seemed to get worse, especially after January 6th. It really does seem like they're growing apart. You can imagine a lot of it has to do with his legal challenges. And it probably doesn't help that her house in Florida is being surrounded by MAGA crazies who are just beeping their horn all day. Could you imagine how annoying that must be to have a caravan of lunatics surrounding your house laying on the horn? I don't care if it's out of support. That's just annoying. You're surrounded by cult members who you don't know, and then there's a constant drone of a car horn. I would go crazy. And people have been pointing out she's been absent for a while. How do you feel going on your closing? Where's the lie? And not just with this trial. Of course, she didn't put out a statement of support or anything. She made a couple appearances, but for the most part, she's been totally missing, which is very weird for a former first lady to do. Even after they left the White House, Michelle Obama has been very public. Her books, podcasts, movies, TV appearances, public appearances. She's a very accessible person, but Melania Trump is totally missing in action. And legitimately, there were things in this trial that probably pissed her off. Take a look at this. Donald Trump wasn't even thinking about Melania. This was all about his campaign. And then he raised Melania to, to Donald Trump and Trump said, don't worry, how long do you think I'll be on the market for? Not long. Oh, wow, that's basically Michael Cohen saying that Trump was ar essentially arguing that if Melania Trump was upset over enough over this to leave him, that it wouldn't be a, a, a problem for him. He'd find a fourth wife or fourth girlfriend. That, that's what it seems to be insinuating there. That's how I read that. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty that's... callous comment. So it'd be interesting to see from our reporters inside how Trump responds to that. It is a question of how Melania Trump, who has been paying attention to this trial, I've been told by sources, how she'll react to a comment like that from Michael Cohen, where Donald Trump was saying, not only am I not also worried about Melania and the campaign, I'm not worried about Melania Trump's reaction to this at all. I'm only worried about the campaign. I mean, even if you are extremely cruel and callous and you're in a marriage only for convenience, hearing that would still probably piss anybody off. This is your husband talking about he doesn't care 
if his wife finds out that he cheats because he wouldn't be on the market for that long. That is insane. And that I think is why I kind of feel bad for her. Even a terrible person would rightfully be upset by that. I really don't think she's conniving. I just really think the prospect of her getting divorced in her head seems more miserable than whatever this is. Go ahead, leave a comment and tell me why I'm wrong. But things are only gonna get worse for her because scrutiny on her absence is intensifying. Take a look. There's an old Latin saying, Qui tacit consitere videtur. Ooh. She who is silent when she should speak is understood to consent. That means her silence tells you everything you need to know because a wife in this situation would come and stand by her husband normally. We've seen political wives do it. Elliot Spitzer, when he was in trouble, he was getting run out. His wife stood by him in some of the worst circumstances. So I think the fact that Mrs. Trump has been absent and silent it speaks volume. She doesn't have to say a word. She's had to deal with Trump's awful behavior for years. And at some point, even a terrible person would probably break, would refuse to show support publicly, would refuse to stand by them. And as we get closer to the election, there are going to be more expectations for her to be public. This could really drive a wedge between them, but maybe cause a rift in the campaign. It will drive a media narrative that will be uncomfortable for Trump because all of it stems from these cases. She's likely not going to show up to things because of his behavior. That will define him as a candidate and maybe dictate the outcome of the election.